Mayor Parker and the distinguished council members in the city of Houston. I just want you to know how grateful we are to live in your neighborhoods and to live with the best people in all of the state of Texas and in the entire United States. We just feel like we're friends, we're neighbors, and we enjoy this great bond we have together. I, I know you recognize these yellow t-shirts behind me. These are some of the finest young men and young women. That's a fraction of those who are out at those several weekends doing uh, the things that they try to do best. If there is one thing we want to be known for, it would be that we want to be sheep. And I'm, I'm not trying to teach a sermon. We want to be the sheep and not the goats. And the sheep are those who go out and help their neighbors. And we find those and suffer those. And so we're grateful. And we're grateful for the privilege of showing our faith by the works that we do. I'd like to actually give, maybe this is inscriptive, but a piece of, of interest. The LDS Church publishes weekly a little bulletin about things that are going on around the world. And most recently, published version recognizes the mayor. I'll give this to you, Mayor. and her interest in allowing us to serve. We're so grateful for that privilege. We are just delighted to be part of this community. And may I add, in that little bulletin, there are about, there are over 15 million members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints worldwide, so this went out to many, many people, more than that, you know, a weekly church bulletin for 500 people. It's widespread. Okay, I feel a little awkward that you're thanking me for allowing you to serve. Councilor Lester. Mayor, Neil. You know, Sunday morning, Memorial Day Sunday, we all woke up to a bad plan and Mayor. By the time we spoke and we got the second round of service providers out from there, out to the Rockport Apartments and District J. Not, not long thereafter, Neil showed up with the housing department. Chris Newport was there and the entire staff. And they brought the Army. And more importantly, they brought those, many of those smiling faces that are standing behind you, Mayor. And uh, it was a real joy to walk with them through that apartment complex, and they saw the need. We didn't know. The next day on Memorial Day, Mayor, when we met in the command staff, or the command station, about the rains that were coming, but we were getting ready for it. The next week, I mean, after that, after that flooding that happened on Memorial Day, the neighborhood directly across the street <laughs> suffered at least 150 homes flooded. And the Saints and many other volunteers were right in the midst of that neighborhood, helping people recover their lives. And I want to thank Elder Jones, I want to thank the Saints in particular, and I want to thank each and every one of the organizations that have come forward to create this safe Houston, and particularly, Neil, your leadership. I hope that this is a template that we build upon there and that every organization in this city will be ready to step up to the plate and participate in. But Neil, as long as you live, you'll know that you have done an amazing and good job in this event. You've done great service, so you've been a faithful witness. Thank you. God bless you. It's never money. Vice Chair, for ten minutes. Thank you, sir. Director Bank, and this is the type of, uh, as Councilman Kulwash would say, the PPP that I like to see the public-private partnership. Um, I think that you know you have gone above and beyond your reach in, in the church. <laughs> bringing kids to Acres Homes, helping out our students before all this happened, and then continuing to listen to Councilman Blash and his story. I appreciate you. And, you know, Ms. Moses, she appreciates you. And we thank you. And uh, a bunch of seniors that don't know who you are, they appreciate you. And I'm sure they remember those yellow shirts. Yellow shirts. And again, I say bless the hands. So thank you so much. Councilman Boyd. Oh, thank you. Uh, first of all, I know West Bear is coming up. Well, Mayor, but Neil, I want you to know I remember doing the work the mayor had her team. Uh, uh, I, I can't recall, I forget the name of where they were meeting at that uh, emergency. Uh, what is it called? Command Center. Okay. It was new to me. But anyway, Neil, the mayor was talking about the number of hours you put in. I can't thank you enough for your commitment. And I know you probably did more than the norm because you're a man of faith. And being a man of faith, 
God teaches us to do for the least and the last. And you are that kind. You that kind of person, and I admire you so much for what you do. And to the youngsters uh, in the yellow shirts, let's just know for certain that your work doesn't go in vain. We see you guys on weekends. We see you doing work all around the city. Uh, and, and just prepare yourself for the future. God has big plans for you. Just don't run against me. But, <laughs> <laughs> guys are starting off the right way by volunteering and continue to do that and God will continue to be a blessing to each and every one of you. Pastor Christy. I think the last meeting of the pop-off session I talked about the volunteerism in this city and uh, why it is the best city in the United States and it's because of, of the, the churches and the people who work together um, and the philanthropists that we have in this city. It's the most giving city you'll ever The other countries, why did you come here? The students that come, in? I ask them questions like that because it's the friendliest city. Friendliness is giving and sharing. I know in those 14,000 hours, you know, we had a good city response, all the departments, we had the churches respond, we had the Red Cross, and uh, all the way from Katrina till today, it just it, it does your heart good see how the city gets along. And uh, we have a little spot of, of concern. We rush to it. If you look at any disaster in this city, you see people lined up to get housing, to get food to the people that are down now. And in those 14,000 hours, I bet you no one looked to see where the house was located, what the age of the person was, whether they were run down house rent, you rush to where the need was. And the comment was made that some people will never know who you are, but I think God knows who you are. Thank you for your service. Council, we're starting. Thank you. Thank you, Neil, you know, for your service. I have a lot of projects going on in the board and, and um, the rich that has 